Hello everybody, my name is Vanessa. If you don't know who I am, a chance call for those that struggle. So I just wanted to jump on here and talk to you all on a couple different things. So these are, there's two different topics that I want to talk about and they may be completely different from one to the other, but I want to say that, that they were both given to me by the Holy Spirit, okay? So, firstly, I want to talk about relationships, um, those that are seeking to have a relationship, um, a spouse, um, those that are in, you know, the dating world, and things are just not working out, okay? Um, last night, well, I woke up this morning, and I knew that I had a dream. I felt like I had a dream, but I couldn't remember it. So I asked God, I said, you know, if there was a dream that I had that I don't remember, um, please bring it back to my remembrance. At the same time of saying this, I'm thinking if there was really something that I needed to remember, then I would remember it, right? But I went ahead and, you know, said this to God. If there was something that I needed, that I need to know that I need to remember, bring it back to my remembrance. And it wasn't until literally like, Two and a half, three hours later this morning that the Holy Spirit brought back to me what I actually had dreamt. And it was about somebody. And this was a prophetic message that I had that I need to, to give to somebody that I have already given. And this doesn't just apply to this person. Particularly, it, it can apply to all those that are seeking a relationship and it's just not working out. Okay. So in my dream, this person... um had just gotten into a new relationship. Okay. So, and God was telling me that this is not, this is not right. This is not what he has for this person. That if you are in the dating world and you keep seeing closed doors, that things are just not, not working out and you, you know, are going from one partner to the next or, you know, it's just not working out. It doesn't matter who it is and what you're doing. It's just not working out. That door is closed because God has something better for you. Okay. This is exactly what God was telling me for this person. That door is closed because he has something better for you. So there's something that I want to read to you. And it literally was not a blessing until after I was saved. I received this in, I received this April 22nd, 2001. And I, I was blinded to the words. I was literally blinded to these words until after I got saved and I had been carrying this with me being not living for God, living in a lost life. Um, and this is my Baptist, my baptism certificate that I had received one of the times I was baptized because I told you guys, I've literally been baptized like five times and um, two times, the last two times I know for a fact, you know, I'm saved. Okay. Okay. Um, but this time, yes, it was April 22nd, 2001 is when I was baptized. And I had read this before a few years ago, probably about three years ago. Um, I'm not for sure if that video is still up or not, because during that time, you know, God will give us messages. And a lot of it has to do with just speaking certain things that are, have went on in our life and what we've gone through for our own healing process so we can get through it. And so I'm not for sure if that video is still up or not, but I want to go ahead and read this and I'm going to go ahead and show you just briefly. And then I'm going to read it. What this actually is to show that I, that I do, you know, have this. Believe and be satisfied. Okay. Believe and be satisfied. So give me a moment while I read this. God knows you long to give yourself completely to someone, to have a deep soul relationship with another, to be loved thoroughly and exclusively. But because he loves you, God says, no, not until you're satisfied and fulfilled and content with living loved by me alone. With giving yourself totally and unreservedly to me. To have an intensely personal and unique relationship with me alone. 
I won't give you something that will make you, that will take you away from me. I love you, my child. And until you discover that only in me is your satisfaction to be found, you will not be capable of the perfect human love relationship that I have planned for you. You will never be united with another until you are united with me, exclusive of anyone or anything else, exclusive of any other longing or desires. I want you to stop planning, stop wishing, and allow me to give you the most thrilling plan existing, one that you cannot imagine. I want you to have the best. Please allow me to bring it to you. You just keep watching me, expecting the greatest things. Keep that satisfaction knowing that I am. Keep learning and listening to the things that I tell you. And you must wait. Don't be anxious and don't worry. Don't look around. Don't look around you at the things that others have that others have gotten or what I have given them. Don't look at the things you think you want. Just keep looking off and away up to me. Or you will miss what I have to show you. And then when you're ready, I'll surprise you. And with a love far more wonderful than you, than any you could ever dream. You see, I am working this minute to have you both ready at the same time. And until you are both satisfied ex exclusively with me and the life I've prepared for you, you won't be able to experience the love that, imp that impl amplifies your relationship with me. And it actually says exemplifies your relationship with me. This is the best love. And dear one, I want you to have the most wonderful love. I want you to see in the flesh a picture of your relationship with me and to enjoy materially and concretely the everlasting union of beauty and perfection and love that I have that and love that I offer you, which is himself. No, I love you utterly. I am God almighty. Believe and be satisfied. So <clears throat> you can go ahead and read that yourself considering I just posted, I just showed you a picture of it. So Literally, I'd carry this around with me. I was baptized when I was, I think this was when I was 16 or 17 years old. I was going to church and yeah, I gotten baptized. Not really, I wasn't changed. I just knew that I said the prayer and I wanted to be changed, but there was no real change in me. And I had literally lived a lost life, a lost life later, you know, like it was horrendous. My my past has been horrendous, horrendous as far as my faults and my flaws. Trying to find that, literally trying to find that love. And I literally carried that around. I lost everything that I had. And I had found that. Somehow I had found that. And it wasn't until after I had gotten saved in 2015 that I had read that and I had cried because I then knew my eyes were open and I knew what this what, what it was saying to love him first and then the love will come he will give you that love so i wanted to share that with you and secondly i want to talk about is we limit god in a lot of ways and i was personally limiting god myself you know i've been believing and trusting in god in this business that he's telling me to do and asking for guidance and direction and this morning i was in prayer and i'm just asking him god like what do you want me to do now? And as I had released this prayer, I instantly heard the bird singing. The bird started singing. And I'm like, God, are you telling me to start singing? And I'm like, okay, you know, you want me to start singing. You want me to start praising, right? And I'm like, well, I don't want to be my own understanding. I don't want to be thinking something that's not it, right? And there has been something, you know, on my heart that's been bothering me outside of you know, the business that he wants me to do. And I'm just, you know, taking steps in faith as far as him going to be opening the doors. But there's another situation going on that I have not brought to God. And for a lot of you all, it could be like so minute 
But for me, you know, I want to be able to give my son a blessed birthday and tomorrow's his birthday. And I literally just don't have the finances, finances in my hands to be able to give, um, how I normally give, how I'm able to normally be able to give. And so in my mind, I'm thinking that's a closed door. Like, I'm just going to have to be content and accept what it is that God does, you know, in order for him, for us to be able to celebrate the special day with him. And so he's going to be five years old. And I just did a video on the number, you know, 555. And I know after I had released that video, Sharon Wells had came out, um, two days, two days ago, and she was speaking about like just five day fasting and how five means grace. So when my son woke up this morning, he was talking about, you know, his fifth birthday. And honestly, he's like, he doesn't want to turn five, but yeah, he spent all year waiting for this day. And, um, and I'm just telling him like, it's your fifth birthday. This is a celebration. Like, this is an amazing day, you know, five, you know, this is God's grace. This is, this is, you know, special. You are a gift from God. And it literally broke the bondage mindset that I was in that the enemy was trying to steal, trying to steal from my son as far as like that door is closed because it is not closed. We manifest what we see in our minds. We speak what we see in our minds. And here the enemy was trying to allow me to have, you know, my son's birthday taken from him speaking ill. Like, you know, he's just, you know, it's just going to be one of those days. It's just going to be one of those times that we, it's just not going to happen the way that we you know, or have how I've been able to bless him in the past years. And um, wait a minute, we have authority over this. We have authority over this. God doesn't just bless us in one area of our life. He blesses us in all areas of our lives. So don't limit God, okay? We are in the new. We don't have to accept that no more. We can bind that. We bind whatever is hindering us in, in, in heaven. And, and whatever we bind in heaven is bound on earth, okay? Whatever we loose, to, loose in heaven, we loose it. Whatever we loose in heaven shall be loosed here on earth. We have the authority over the dominion that is trying to block our blessings that God says he has for us. So I just wanted to share that with you. So keep in mind that don't limit God. Don't think, you know, he's going to work in one area of my life, but he can't work in this other area. Don't, you know, take your time to take it to God. Take it to him immediately. Because as soon as I took it to him, Literally, and I got confirmation after this. I literally got confirmation right after I received this message this morning that we we limit our blessings by what we are able to hold, our capacity, okay? So first of all, if we're not ready for it, we're not going to receive it. We have to be able to, our minds have to be able to receive it. We have to have the capacity to receive it. And you have to know that all things are new in Christ. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to prosper. We, we are surrendered to him. And he has given us the authority over the dominion, over, the, over our thoughts, over our enemies. Weapons may form, but they will not prosper. Okay? I love you all. God bless you. I hope this was a blessing to you. And I will talk to you later.